Okay, this video is about how to take an AVI file and convert it to a DVD format so that you can burn it to a DVD disc. <clears throat> um, I know some of you download, you know, some movies, you pay for your movies online. They come in AVI file, it's like 700 megs, 1 gig, whatever. Um, so first, what you do is you got your movie and I'm going to find a movie here, let's see, a Beautiful Mind, here's my Beautiful Mind video, AVI file, 717 megs. So what you need is a program that converts AVI to DVD format. So what, you, what I do, I have a program that's called AVS Video Converter. So, you know, all you got to do is go to the internet. And what you want to type in here is AVS for you. Okay. It's a video converter. And we'll just wait for that web page to open. We might wait all day for that web page to open. Anyway, maybe this one will work. Well, something ain't working. Maybe we'll try it in Chrome. All right. AVS for you. Download AVS for you. So here it is, AVS Video Converter. Convert all your key formats with Video Converter. So you click download. You download the video uh, software. Install it. And when you install it, it will go to program files <clears throat> it'll say AVS for you uh, if you don't have the icon on your desktop just click the AVS video converter 6 you know and you open it and here's the software Your subscription is about to expire. You have zero days left. Well, that sucks. So here is your software. So what you want to do is click to DVD, output file name. You want to make what you want to make a folder like what I did. See this folder right here? I made a folder called a beautiful not mine. So, you browse to the folder you want. See, I already did it. Yours will just be blank. You hit OK. So now that'll show up here. Okay, then you browse to your file. Here it is right here. Well, you got to find it. So mine would have been in the Flash Get Completed Movies. That's uTorrent. Here's my AVI file, and I know that um, it's the right file because it says AVI 717. So we open that. The name of the file shows here. Once you see that, once you see that in this, you just click Convert Now. There are settings you can do like you can do WMV, MPEG, Blu-ray you got your advanced settings down here what your aspect ratio you want keep it originally normally you keep it in the original setting that way when it transfers from one format to the other you don't get some weird picture if you downloaded it in, in full screen 4.3 then keep it 
you know, in original, if it downloaded in, in widescreen, it'll stay how it is. Um, that's what this is. You just input original. Output it. What you should do is watch the video. Watch the AVI. See what it is. If you see black at the top and black at the bottom, most likely that's a widescreen because widescreen always has black border at the bottom and the top. So your standard output, see how this gray, light gray right here, light gray right here, that is the widescreen. So, you know, that's your, that's what your output's going to be. So after you got everything figured out that you want, you just click convert now. You know, it'll take maybe an hour to convert it to the DVD format. And what you do is you open that folder you created. You'll see the audio TS folder, which is always blank. Anytime you convert any movie, the audio TS folder is going to be blank. You got your video TS files here. Okay. So then what you'll do is you'll get your DVD, your blank DVD disc. It's probably going to be a plus R. The program I use is called Nero Vision. I have Nero 8 Ultra. So I'm going to go down to Nero Vision. I'm going to open it up. I don't have a DVD in my drive right now, so I'm only going to be able to get to a certain point. So what you're going to do is <clears throat> you're going to make a DVD. Basically. Okay, so you see this window here? Got all this space to work with here. Make sure that says DVD, of course, because you chose DVD. Okay, add video files. Okay, here's as long as. See, I have Rise of the Cobra because I copied that once or I burned it. Um, but you got to find the file that has your movie you want. So I'm going to go back to my desktop. Find my beautiful mind, disc one, video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit control A so that it'll copy all those. Or it'll select all those and then I'll hit open. It'll say one or more files contain multiple segments that can be imported as a single file. And make sure the properties match. Do you want to merge these files? click yes so then what you'll do is you'll just wait and it'll analyze so we'll wait for that okay so it's almost done so after it does that necessary license has not been activated okay I need to, it looks like I need to finally activate my software. Anyway, after that happens, uh, what it'll do is it'll add the videos to the project, and then uh, then you just click burn and go through the motions. All right, that's it. I gotta go get this activated and you guys have fun burning your DVDs.